Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and I'm going to share a little story with you. If you'd like to hear my story, keep listening. Um, if you do not, I will put a timestamp down below if you just want to get move forward to the reading. Um, so I feel like I have a really amazing community here and I like to share my, you know, some stories with, you know, you guys to, um, that, you know, like that I connect with you guys and that I've had my struggles too. Um, so recently I had something come up that I had to do that was, that triggered me. So I was having a really hard time trying to get through this situation and I was really struggling and I was, you know, it makes you question and I was like, I feel like I was in such a good place and then this thing came up and I felt triggered and I was really struggling and I was having a really hard time, but Okay, I'm going to try and not get emotional because you know how emotional I am. Um, but I kept, you know, I kept thinking about this channel and all of your beautiful messages and that I'm not alone in my struggles and that you guys have your struggles too. And, you know, you're so kind to share those with me and that how my channel has helped you and that... I just want to say that you guys helped me too, that I was going through my struggles. I was like, well, I'm not alone. I'm like, there are other people out there that are struggling with things and that I have this beautiful channel that I enjoy doing and putting my messages out there and helping other people and that I was using the energy of your support to help me, sorry, get through my situation because I know that you guys are like you're out there and you're supporting me and um, I feel like it was kind of like a team and like I kept thinking about you guys' energy and your support and it just helped me get through my situation and I, I'm so proud of myself because I got through it and I feel stronger and I feel better and you know at the beginning of it I was like oh why is this happening why is this happening you know, why am I having to go through this? But after I did it, I was like, oh, it wasn't as bad as what I was thinking. And I was, I felt so strong. And I felt like I had this community support to help me get through <clears throat> my situation. And I feel stronger. And I'm really proud of myself for getting through it. Like I handled it so much better than what, how I would have handled it in the past, you know, because it, it would have gotten to me more. But I felt your energy and your strength to help me get through it. Um, in a good way and I was able to rise up and push through it and I just love all of your messages and how you guys say that my messages help you with these daily readings and that I help you to give you that positive energy to get through your situations and I just feel like this is such an amazing community that I can't even express my gratitude um, for all of your support and so anyways I just wanted to share my story with you and know that um, I try to answer you know as, as many comments as I can and um, but that you guys are you guys are in my heart sorry that you guys are in my heart and that you're there with me when I'm having my struggles. And it helps me to not feel alone. <clears throat> and I really appreciate that. More than I can say, more than I can express. And I just wanted you guys to know that. Um, because I feel like with my channel, I want to be honest and I want to, you know, I just don't want it to be about, you know, just having this as a job and I just read tarot every day. Like it's more than that to me. It's so much more. Um, it's a whole community that I didn't even know was out there. And it's so cool to be able to connect with other people. 
and know that in spirit, like you guys are there for me and you guys, you guys are my cheerleader. <laughs> so anyways, there I am emotional again, but I just want you to know that my, my love for this channel and my passion for it is real. And I want to share that with you guys. So anyways, <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right. Thank you again for, for being here for me and being my community and being my cheerleader. All right. So this is actually today, <laughs> um, which is, it's Tuesday. Um, so I'm doing this this morning and then I'll post this, um, I'll post this later today. It's like, I think it's like eight o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to post this later today. Um, so again, thank you. All right, so let's get to the reading and whew, see what's going on. All right, so what's going on for Capricorn and who needs to hear a message? Okay, so we have Knight of Cups and we have Queen of Cups. Emotions. <laughs> Emotions. Emotions. I feel like for Capricorn, like on the outside, it seems like we're really strong and it seems like we're have this tough exterior, but I feel like in the inside we're, you know, I'm not speaking for all Capricorns, but I'm, but I'm feeling like, um, since I am a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising, I feel like we have a very soft inside, right? We have a hard shell, but a soft inside. Um, I feel that, you know, we have a lot of feelings and emotions that are going on but we surround ourselves with a with a tough shell all right we have the fool and we have the six of wands so I feel like you know it's maybe being about getting in touch with your feelings and your emotions and acknowledging those and there may be somebody that you you need to tell there may be someone that <coughs> you need to communicate with and to express your feelings to that maybe you are I feel like with that outer shell that maybe this person whoever this person represents for you that maybe it's time for you to show your softer side right that it's time for you to show that person you know, that you can be vulnerable. Of course, you have to do whatever you feel is right for you. I'm not telling you what you have to do, but I feel like that brings those relationships even closer and it gives that person that under, to understand more. You know, I personally feel that if you're able to explain to someone how you're feeling and to let them know to show your vulnerable side that that helps them to connect with you and I feel like people appreciate that and they understand that if you feel comfortable with that person that that person you know that that's something that they will appreciate um just like at the beginning of this video where I showed my vulnerability and I showed you um, my emotions and I'm sharing it with you know a very large audience but I feel you know, that that helps to connect. And so this may be something for you too, is to be, there may be someone in your life that you feel is very special, that maybe you have that hard outer shell, that maybe it's time to show your feelings and show your emotions and show them how much they mean to you to bring that relationship closer. Um, we have the death card, which that is about something that is holding you back and to let that go and then to transform and to change. And as scary as it is to share your emotions and your feelings, it's also something that I feel personally that lightens the load, like that that gets the heaviness away and it, and it makes me feel better and it makes me feel proud of myself. And, you know, sometimes when you do share that, people, you know, they they can may not react the way that you want them to but I feel like it's with Capricorn it's generally we do it with people that we feel we can trust and that you know 
will be careful with that vulnerability, but also to realize that if there is someone who does not appreciate that, then that is a relationship that you have to look at as to, is it someone that you want to have in your life? Is it someone that maybe you have to readjust that relationship or you have to change that, right? Moving forward, are there changes? And to really know who those people are that are by your side and will support you and will appreciate that vulnerability. All right, let's see. Yeah, a new start. It helps you. It almost... By letting those walls down and, and being vulnerable, it also, I feel like it just makes you softer and that hard outer shell isn't as hard. And it's almost like I feel like I was missing out on things because I wasn't feeling confident enough to be able to show that inner shell or be vulnerable um, and maybe missing out on relationships that could have been different if you had done that, if I had done that, right? Look at that, Nine of Cups, love it. Wishes, dreams, um, goals, reaching those goals. But feeling, I feel like even though being vulnerable, it gives you this strength that I feel like I've never had before. And I feel like that gives people that, that strength and a different aspect of life instead of keep adding to the layers to the outer shell and making it so that really it's impenetrable and people can't reach you and I feel like that's missing out on something. Having a carefreeness, right? Uh, a lightness, that's what I feel like because I was looking at this death card and I was like, you know, for the death card and I f that six of cups comes up and, and it could be those relationships that you feel lighter, that you feel freer, that you can trust that person, that you can really be you. I feel like Capricorn has so many different sides to themselves and there's so many sides that they don't show and that they, they keep to themselves. But being able to open up and being vulnerable shows people like the fun side, you know, the silly side, the lighthearted side, the playful side, um, of Capricorn, which I feel is, is really amazing. And, you know, I feel like it just lightens the energy. You know, it's definitely something to think about. You know, it's, it's something to think about as letting some of those walls down to gain those rewards of something that maybe you haven't felt before, something that you haven't experienced before, something, you know, a direction that, you know, you haven't felt bef before. But I also feel that even though it's vulnerability, it gives you a strength. Um, and I feel like it, like I said before, it opened your eyes to those people who really appreciate you letting your walls down and being vulnerable. And it gives you a closeness in relationships that you hadn't felt, maybe haven't felt before, you know, rising above this, this situation. To have that new beginning, right? Again, with the fool and the death card, those new beginnings, ace of wands, new beginnings, taking actions, doing things differently, seeing it from a whole new perspective. But that's something that you have to be ready for. That has to be something, you know, that you feel that inner strength, that it's something that you can do. Because if you're not ready, obviously that could go the other way. But it's something that if you feel that it is ready and that, you know, maybe just trying it just a little bit just to see what happens and then building upon that. <clears throat> All right. Um, let's do a fortune reading. And then I'm feeling like an animal oracle one too. <clears throat> A dragonfly. Have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. And I feel like, again, like I was saying, that it connects you in different ways and different levels. And it's rewarding for you and it's rewarding for the people around you to be able to express your emotions and your feelings and show people that softer side, that funnier side, right? Um, we have Wombat Spirit, which is be at home, feeling feeling good in your own skin, right? I feel like sometimes, you know, like we, we're not feeling good, we're not co feeling confident, we're not feeling strong in our own skin and who we are. But I feel like 
doing this as part of feeling confident in your own skin and knowing who you are and knowing that you're true to yourself and your feelings and what it is that you want and who you are, right? Being true to who you are and being confident in your own skin. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.